Hello everybody, Athmail back with another Let's Play uh, video in my series featuring the Witch Doctor as part of Season 3. So we're on Torment 4, we're just going to do a quick rift and then possibly head into another bounty because we really still want to try and find a Ring of Grandeur. Hopefully we won't die as we go along here. Um, I must apologise, I haven't been around the last week. I've actually been a little bit unwell and had a few other life challenges I suppose you call them thrown at me. So, But back to it now and hopefully we'll get a bit of videoing done before this season particularly finishes. Not that we're too phased because we're really looking forward to, well I'm really looking forward to the, the next season and in particular the changes that are coming as part of patch 2.3. Um, I was still hoping to do a little bit of a video from the PTR, but I've had a lot of difficulty trying to get on. Um, everyone's obviously on there trying to have all the new stuff, so it's been a bit harder than normal to, to get a connection. At a decent torment level, that is. I have had a quick go, um, but only managed to be on torment 3, so it wasn't much of a challenge, but it gave me the ability at least to get to Kanai's Cube, which is um, one of the new items that I might have mentioned in one of my previous videos. Sort of like the Heradric Cube from Diablo 2. So, so I managed to get that, but if I get the time and I can actually get a connection working, I'll try and do another bit of a video on PTR and, and just show you some of the changes that are coming. And we will keep looking for our loot as we go along as well. So we're on Torment 4. Uh, last time I did this there was a few close calls so hopefully we won't um, end up dying. And we'll actually get through this pretty quick. Really hoping to get another bounty or two done so I can try and find this ring of royal grandeur and finish off my Zuni set a bit so I can do a little bit more damage and try and push it up to T6. Hopefully before the season finishes, that is anyway. Good start because I'm on my favourite level. I really like this one. Not too bad density in the crowd, so we'll see how we go. We're nearly a, a, well, a quarter of the way there, so that's not too bad. Looking good. Yeah. I've also been trying to find some more loot still for my Demon Hunter because I was hoping to bring a bit of the Demon Hunter video to show but um, I haven't had much luck with that. It's not too bad a build but it's very similar to a lot of other people's out there and I definitely don't have the best gear at the moment so I'll keep working on that and hopefully bring one out. Mind you though everything's going to really change once patch 2.3 hits and the build diversity is just going to be incredible I think. Hopefully able to um, push higher, greater rifts as well. So we'll go back this way. I'm sure this is going to end up going around in the loop. Oh, we've got one of them into the fallen lunatics. I might try and get out of that poison for a time being. Nasty T4. So we've got a Bloodborne the Virulent. And he's got a bunch of molten people with him, so he won't stand in the way of that. We're not doing too well with the old poison there. Looks like my troops will be able to hold them off, and oops, I'm just throw spiders in from the side. I might run through this and try and get on the other side so you can attack on from both ways. Gives us more room to move around to and avoid the um, poison. <coughs> so we're still running with the... Uh, I think it's the little man's finger. I'll have to check to see what it's called again. 
Uh, the one that makes our go game turn split into three hard hitter ones. It's the short man's finger, sorry. Little man's finger. I think he used to be called the man's finger, that's why I keep getting tripped up with that. But. So we've got three hard hitting gargantuans plus at the moment 23 fetishes as part of the Zuni set that are constantly up as well as my fetish sycophants which um, keeps them going. So we'll go up this way, have a look around. You can see we're going to end up going and doing a big backtrack all the way where we're just coming from. been so long since I've played, I'm worried that I'm going to end up killing this guy in this first episode because I'm just going to be overzealous, but fingers crossed. With my little army of the dead, they'll keep everything at bay for us. Okay, so we are in, going to end up going around in a full circle, but we'll go and check these bits out in a minute. We've got another Elite Ezra the Violent. Nasty. Wormhole Fast Illusions Vortex. Oh, nothing we can't handle. Oh. We got pulled right through the other side, which is probably a good thing. Attack them from the two sides. Plus it also gets my guys out in the open so the gargantuans actually do something instead of the usual misses that they have. I think we'll I'd definitely be getting rid of the, the multiple gargantuans once we find the end of Green Angel. Oh nice. And we have got a legendary Voodoo Mask. Awesome. And we've got another set of champions. Molten, Poison, Enchanted, Electrified and Shielding. Not too much. And they are basically no more. Okay, so we've made our way around, we'll have to head back to where we were. That's not bad though, it's not too long a trip. Plus we're well over halfway now, so... Tyrant the Disemboweled. We'll just get out of there because it's getting a bit nasty. I'm going to avoid some of these mortar shots. I don't want to be on the side of those guys shooting out of the Cast our wall of mutilation. What? Sorry, wave of mutilation. I was thinking of the. Well, I really want to try out the new set that. Well, the changes to the original set that was um, the Hell Tea set, which affect your wall of zombies. But now I think they call it Wall of the Dead or something like that. It'd be good to see that actually working and actually beneficial in the game, because beforehand it just wasn't. It was okay, but it wasn't viable enough to do by a levels as well as greater rifts and that sort of thing. That's for those that are familiar with Diablo of course and know what I'm talking about. So we've got some more champions. Definitely Poison Enchanted. Plague, Avenger, Molten, Vortex. 
Please don't vortex me into a molten explosion. That's probably the worst thing that they can do. Be ready on my um, spirit walk just in case. Taking a bit of poison damage here. Holy mackerel, there's just a few there. You can see all the bodies in the background. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm not mad, sure whether many people have checked out the changes that are coming in 2.3, but it's definitely, I think, a patch that everyone is really eager to see go live. A lot of good things. A lot of changes to, obviously, the builds that are going to be viable. The Kanai's Cube, there's Torment 7, 8, 9 and 10 coming. They're changing up crafting materials, so you don't need to have as many crafting materials, which is good. Well, many different types, I should say. Still need a few to craft things, but they're changing up the name types there are. The one bad, well, not bad thing, but I suppose the one thing they're going back to is having, um, like, well, not crafting materials, but crafting reagents, I suppose you'd call them. Uh, things that you need to be able to do stuff, like use Kanai's Cube. Uh, which you'll be able to get from bounties each time, but they seem to have made it fairly easy to get the stuff because you have oops, bonus um, possibilities for getting extra ones, bonus caches and that sort of thing, so and that the quantities required for using the cube don't seem too bad. What's with all the molten ones today? Oh, we've got another legendary. Cool. Ceremonial knife. So it's something good. Haven't done too bad so far. Two legendaries, which is good for our first video since we're back. I'm sure the game must be feeling a bit generous because I haven't played for a while, so it's giving me a few extra items. Right, we're nearly getting to 100%. Don't know if anyone's noticed too, like if you're a regular player of the game, and I find that if I'm going to see Kadala and trying to get, say, gloves or something, and she doesn't generally give me what I want anyway, the game seems to drop gloves afterwards. It's like it knows that you're after, you've been to see her, you've got you've given the game an indication that you're after some gloves of some sort, so I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel that's the way it, it's sort of working. I could be wrong. It could be just by chance. The RNG gods are listening to our um, requests and they go and look for stuff. There's a chest in here, we don't check this out, see if there's anything good. Yep. So pretty close to calling the Rift Guardian. Let's just go a bit of a wander this way. Probably just finish off this level until we get to the doorway. <coughs> and then um, call it quits, although there's the doorway. Yeah, I thought we'd reach the Guardian beforehand. We'll call it quits once we've um, defeated the Guardian. Shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. When you uh, just called in about a hundred other baddies here. We've got a uh, uh, champion attack, I think. No, elites. Possibly move on the side. Oh, I don't want to be over there. <laughs> 
Okay. This could be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see how we go. Try and get rid of one of these. You saw another set. What? How did he find? How did they find me? Oh, oh no. we don't want to die. Not my first video back. Just have to keep ourselves mobile, but not try and drag them into any other groups along the way. Okay, this is a laugh moment. There's so much stuff here, we are in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna die! <sighs> Those skeletons haven't shown up for the um, tomb pools or whatever they're called. Oh gosh, look how many there are. Right, oh no, no! <laughs> I don't really want to go back that way either. <clears throat> no! Seriously! We are going to die! No! <sighs> okay folks. I'm not happy. That was not fair. They just mobbed on me. Well... My first episode back, and I'm dead. R.I.P. Witch Doctor. That was really, really tragic. Uh, I suppose we better archiving. Anyway, there goes that. We really thought we were going to continue this series, but... Seems to be the last episode. I've pushed it too hard into Torment 4. I've managed to drag in too many others. Oh well. We'll be coming back with some more build videos. Well, I, so, sorry, I should say I will be coming back with some more build videos. And um, yeah, try and bring you some stuff from Torment. Sorry, from PTR looking at the new patch as well. Thanks for joining me for this series. We are RIP. Catch you next time.